سعادة السيد ماتيو رينسي وزير رئيس وزراء الجمهورية الإيطالية Mr. President uh, Al-Sisi, dear friend, Majesties, Highnesses, uh, Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Italian presence here today has a twofold meanings. First of all, number one, while facing the growing challenge of terror, rather than putting up walls or being paralyzed by fear, the international community is committed to establish wider economic interconnections, to ensure sustainable development and greater stability. And uh, with over one billion people, Egypt, its Arab and uh, African backyards, represent an extraordinary area of opportunities and uh, long-lasting development. Italy is the side, determined, committed, not miss this historical chance of greater integration between Europe and this space and work to realize this dream. Italy must be a bridge between Europe and this part of the world. Egypt must be a bridge between this part of the world and Europe. Number two, we trust, we trust Egypt, we trust in your leadership, Mr. President. We support, we support strongly its goal of achieving inclusive economic and social wealth for all Egyptians. We support its wisdom for an ambitious macroeconomic reform program, aiming at an even greater business-friendly environment. We support its vision, and we support the fight against corruption and for stability and prosperity. We trust Egypt's sense of direction and strategic endeavors and its ability to go of the process of institutional consolidation after a complex political transition. We know there are a lot of problems. This country is facing a lot of problems, including in copy with the growing threat of terrorism in a manner consistent with the respect of freedoms. But we are absolutely sure about that. Egypt's challenge is our challenge. Egypt's journey is our journey. And Egypt's stability is our stability, not only for this country, not only for this area. Dear President, we appreciate your leadership and the wisdom in coping with the ongoing regional situation, particularly with regard to Libya. And I renew my personal commitment and the commitment of my country to working with you and other responsible international players, because all together to bring about a political way out of the Libyan crisis. I also want to say a word on today's tragic trait posed by terrorism. We all together have to join forces of this challenge. This has nothing to do with a clash of civilization, as some want to characterize it. This is simply a fight of the civilized world against few extremists, which has nothing to do with religion, as you, President Sisi, very clearly stressed in your recent address to the nation delivering the distinguished Al Azhar University the 1st January. I'm here today representing a country that holds a special relation with Egypt our historical roots, obviously first, shared interests and proximity are a fact of life which go well behind the flaws of politics. But I am really proud because no Italian company, no Italian business person has left Egypt throughout the difficult phases after the 2011 revolution. 
Nobody, no one, no business person, no firm left Egypt. And uh, our friendship became our partnership in economics. This partnership is based on solid facts and numbers. Italy is Egypt's first European trading partner and one of Egypt's top investors. Italy firms play a very important role in this country's economy from the energy sector to banking, from petrochemicals to transportation. Virtually every sector in this economy and in this partnership is very important for both countries. Now I think it's time because this presence to increase both in quantitative and in qualitative terms. Only a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, an important business delegation led by our Ministry of Economic Development visited Egypt and uh, had talks with the government key leaders. Most importantly, it held over 1,000 B2B meetings with the potential Egyptian partners. We want to existing partnership to expand on the new economic sector. But this is possible also if we continue together to fight against the risks of terrorism and risks of instability. My positive trust on Egypt is also felt by the Italian top companies whose CEOs and presidents will be and attending the conference, will be here with me. They represent the best Italy has to offer in terms of industrial skills and know-how, technological innovation, long experience of international market. But above all, and I think this is more important, they offer their enthusiasm and the ideas and ideals to be partners together of Egypt investment for today and for tomorrow. Because we are absolutely sure Mediterranean area is not a frontier, is the earth of our civilization. Mediterranean Sea is a bridge with challenges and opportunities, goods and ideas, fates and passions, crossing it in both directions. From the windows of Sharm el Sheikh, gazes lost to the Suez Canal, and from there over to the earth of Europe. Egypt and Italy are located on the two sides of such a bridge. One in front of other, they can be seen as the gatekeepers of this unique space, which is not only point of encounter of great civilization of the past, but also a huge market for prospective consumers and most importantly, a laboratory of a future coexistence and mutual prosperity between different societies and culture. This is the challenge. And for this, we will continue in the next weeks, in the next months, in both directions. I wait for you, dear President Al-Sisi, in Milan for the 2015 World Exhibition under the main very important uh, Feeding the Planet Energy for Life. But above all, I wait for you in the crucial discussion about the future of this area. Because, uh, Mr. President, Excellencies, this conference embodies uh, the great expectations uh, of meaningful and enduring development, especially felt by our young generation in Egypt, in Italy, or all the world. But I think this conference is above all, a clear message, a very strong message against the ideas of terrorists and of extremists. The message is that we are strong than them. We are absolutely more decided and committed to create a place of freedom, of peace, and of prosperity for everybody. This is the message of Sharm el Sheikh Conference. Egypt and Italy are countries uh, rich of history. And it's not very easy to build a future in a place rich of past. Because the past is very important, it's clear. But build a future in a country rich of past is particularly important, is particularly difficult, but it's also particularly funny. 
I think we have an incredible past, but I'm sure we have an incredible future, and together we'll build it. Thank you so much, Mr. President. سيدات والسادة الحضور الكريم